G'day everyone, hope you're staying safe out there. My name is Archie, I'm one of the exercise physiologists at Rebound Health and today I'm going to do with you a good 25 to 30 minute exercise session that you can do while you're at home over Easter and so you're not worried about eating all of that chocolate as well because I know I'm going to be eating a lot of chocolate. Alright, so today we've got 10 exercises that we're going to go through two rounds of. But first of all, we're going to do a good two and a half minute warm up. So what I'm going to get you to do is just copy exactly what I do. All right, so starting nice and wide, reaching down to each foot. And if you can't reach your foot, just go as close as you can, all right? Just as close as you can. That's it. Nice and wide. And now standing up, rotating side to side like this. Just go as far as you feel comfortable doing. But we're just trying to warm everything up. Warm everything up before we use it. Good, and now we're going to go hands out wide. And we're going to do a bit of a starfish over the top. Both sides here. Twisting side to side like this. Oh, lovely. Good. So for this workout, guys, what you're going to need is you're going to need a chair. And you're going to need a drink bottle. The chair is we're going to use for a couple of the exercises. The drink bottle, you're going to need for water. You don't worry, you don't need any weights or anything to do for this one. Just yourselves and the chair and the ground if that's something you'd like. So at the moment we're going little fast feet and then kicking your leg out in front. Little fast feet and then kicking your leg out in front, just like that. Good, alright. Now nice wide stance. Leaning side to side like this, side to side. Very good, very good. Here we go. I'm going to do the whole thing with you as well. So if I look sweaty and tired, that's because I am. Good, all right. We're just getting through the warm up. We're going to do another couple seconds. Last one, pop your hands in the lower back. Reach your head towards the ground and then come up to the sky. Head towards the ground. Come up to the sky like that. Good. That's it. Alrighty guys, so how this is going to work with the 10 exercises is we're going to do 35 seconds working, 25 seconds rest between each exercise. We'll go all the way through them and then we go all the way through them again. So exercise number one, we're going to be doing either a squat or a squat jump. Those are your two choices. Now, so a squat, you're just coming down like this and back up, squat jump. You can be coming down and doing a little bit of a jump. So guys, we're gonna start this one in three, two, one, let's go. 35 seconds of these. This is gonna get your legs really going and it's gonna get your heart rate up as well to start us off. So remember, if you can't jump, that's fine. Just doing a squat down as low as you can. Now, if that's too difficult, you can use your chair here as well. So sitting down and coming back up. Sitting down and coming back up. Keep going, guys. We've got three seconds to go. Two, one, and have a rest there. Lovely. So the next exercise we're going to be doing is going to be a push-up. Now, you can do this in a couple ways. Either on the back of your chair like this. Yeah, you can do it on the wall like this or you can even do it like this or if you want you can do it on the ground as well like this so we are on the clock now guys let's go 35 seconds of push-ups coming in and out try to stay nice and stiff like a board as you do it all the way in and all the way out that's it Remember, if you need to use something higher, that will make it easier. Like this. If you want to make it harder, you can do it on the ground. Very nice. Three seconds to go. Two, one, and have a rest there. Lovely. So the next one, guys, we're going to be doing a lunge with a knee drive. So standing here, you're going to step back, try and get the back knee to the ground, and then knee coming up. Back knee to the ground, and knee coming up. Once again, if you need to make it easier, use a chair, 
and you get a little bit of support to help you up. Ready? We're starting in three, two, one, let's do it. Coming up like that, that's it. Good. All the way back, all the way up, all the way back, and all the way up, that's it. If it's too hard to do the knee drive, you can just do the lunge like this as well. Trying to get that back knee as close to the ground as you can with all of these. 10 seconds to go on this leg. Keeping the same leg for the whole 35 seconds. Very good, three, two, one, have a rest there. Now, the next one, exactly the same exercise, but facing the other way, all right? So, if you need a drink of water, like I do, now's not a bad time to grab one. All right, guys, we are doing lunges on the other side in three, two, one, let's do it. Coming up. Remember using a chair if you need to. Ah, right there, support your weight a little bit. That's it. And remember another way you can do it is rest your hands on that front knee as well to help you get down and help you push up as well. Ready, three, two, one, done there, well done. All right, guys, the next exercise are called skater jumps, all right? So, we're gonna be starting on one side, and you're gonna be stepping across the other side like this. Now this one, you start here, and if you wanna make it harder, you start to jump a little bit further, all right? So ready, three, two, one, let's go. So start small. If that feels easy, then start to get a bit bigger, and if that's easy, then really start to go side to side, side to side. This one's a little bit of balance and also a lot of leg strength as well, all right? So you're trying to balance yourself on that one foot before going across to the other one, all right? Imagine you're a speed skater. Stephen Bradley winning the gold medal at the Olympics. That's what we're going for here. And have a rest there, everyone. Very nice. The next one, you're going to need a chair for, all right? So, you're going to be taking a seat in your chair, one foot forward, just the heel on the ground here. And you're going to be standing up and coming back down, keeping just that front heel on the ground, all right? A lot of pressure through the back leg, okay? So, coming up, ready? Three, two, one, we are on the clock now, let's go. Standing up, coming back down, standing up. Coming back down. If you need to make it easier, move that heel further back there. If you want to make it harder, move that foot further forward, or even take that foot off the ground altogether. Okay? Last level, just tap the chair and come up. Tap the chair and come up like that, all right? We've got five more seconds on this leg. And done there, very nice. Turn that chair around or keep it where you are. And we're going to do the other leg, all right? We still get 15 seconds rest. So with this one, make it easy by having that foot nice and close here. Make it harder by moving it a long way away, okay? So I'm going to start somewhere in the middle and work up. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Make sure you come all the way nice and tall with every rep, all right? Not finishing here, finishing here, all the way up. All the way up. Good, that's it. Make it a little bit harder now, leg further in front. Adds a bit more balance to it as well. Coming up, good. We've got eight seconds to go on this one. Ready, oh, last one, let's do it. And done there, very nice, Woo. All right, guys, the next one, we're going to be doing shoulder taps to the chair or to the floor. So, if you're doing it with a chair, you've got the chair out in front of you like this in a push-up position, and then you're tapping your shoulder on either side like that. 
If you do it on the ground, on the ground, tapping your shoulder either side like this. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. Tapping your shoulder either side. Try to keep your body as still as possible as you do this one as well. We don't want to be rocking side to side. Keeping it still. That's it. This one's a big tummy burner and also good for your shoulder strength as well. I know I'm feeling it in my shoulders. I keep going, we've got seven seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, done there. Oh. All right guys, the last exercise that we need to do on each side is gonna be coming down, tapping your toe, and then back to straight up. Coming down, tapping your toe, back to straight up. If that's too hard, just have one foot back behind you, reach down towards your toe and come back up. Down towards your toe and back up, all right? Let's go, three, two, one, we're on the clock, let's do it. And up. All the way down and up. Remember, bringing that foot off the ground if you want to make it harder. Woo! A lot of balance involved in this one. A lot of hamstring strength as well involved. We're staying on this one leg for another 10 seconds, all right? Good. Five seconds now. Last one. And have a rest there, lovely. Guys, all we're going to do is turn around and we're going to do the other leg for the last round of these. After this round, guess what? We go back to the start again and we do one more round of everything. I know, it's so exciting. Ready? 10 seconds to go. Remember, pick your stance. Easier having your foot on the ground, harder having your foot off the ground. And we're going to go in three, two, one. Well, let's do it. Tap in the ground, back up. Tap in the ground, back up. That's it. Try to balance, try to do it slowly is harder as well. Oh geez, I lost my balance. Slowly is harder. Back up, having your foot on the ground if that's too hard. Making sure you come all the way up to straight in between as well. 10 seconds to go. Reaching down, back up. Couple more. Three, two, one. Woo. Grab a quick drink of water, everyone, and congratulations, you've done one round out of two. So who remembers what came first? Correct, it was the squats or the squat jumps. Oh God, you're smart. All right, ready guys, we have got seven seconds rest before we get back into the squats or the squat jumps, all right? Ready, three, two, one, let's do it. Coming up. If you want to make it harder, jump higher. If you want to make it easier, don't jump. Keep it up guys, doing well. 15 seconds to go. My legs are burning, don't you worry. Oh, 10 seconds to go. We're almost there. Finish them off. This is the last round of these ones. Three, two, one, done there, very nice, all right. So the next one we're doing our chair push-up or our ground push-up. So lay the hands out here, chest to the chair, and back up, or if you're doing it on the ground, chest to the ground and back up. You can do it on your knees as well down here. Back up like that, all right. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. All the way down. Back up. Remember, trying to stay as stiff as a board with this one. To make them a little bit easier, you can rest at the bottom and then roll your way back up. Rest at the bottom, roll your way back up, all right? 15 seconds to go of these ones. Doing well. Good, guys, we've got seven seconds to go. Six seconds, three, two, one, done there, thank goodness, I've had enough of those. Whew. Guys, the next one we're doing is the lunges again, all right? So, ready, we are gonna get going on the lunges, where we go to the knee back, and coming up, knee back, 
and coming up. Remember, if you need a chair to support you, just pop it there. Ready? Three, two, one, let's do it. And coming up. If you can't get really low, that's totally fine. Just go down as far as you can and back up. Down as far as you can and back up. Remember staying on this one leg for the full 35 seconds and the next round we'll switch over. Doing well guys, we've got 10 seconds to go now. Finish them off. Get out as many as you can. Whew. Three, two, one. Done there, very nice, all right. We're gonna be switching legs. You don't need to move the chair like I'm doing, that's just so everyone can see. All right, so the other leg this time. Oh, am I tired? Is anyone else tired or is it just me? Because I'm pretty tired right now. All right, five seconds to go. Three, two, one, let's do it. Other side, coming up. Remembering to just do a smaller lunge, if you need to make it easier, a smaller lunge, that's it. Otherwise, full lunge with these ones, all right? Up and down like that. Get that knee as high as you can. 10 seconds to go, and we're done with lunges. Oh, won't that be a relief? Five seconds, four, three, two, one, have a rest there, thank goodness. Woo. All right, the next one, guys, we're doing our skater jumps again, all right? So, remember these ones, coming to the side, coming to the side. If you need to make it harder, jumping further. All right, guys, we are going again in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and let's do it. To the side, to the side, to the side, to the side, that's it. Stephen Bradley, guys, Stephen Bradley. National hero, let's support him. That's it, big steps now, if you can. Jump to that other foot if you want to. Now make it harder. Go faster as well, if you want to make it even harder. Everyone else has fallen over in the race. And you're going to win the gold medal, done there. Have a rest, well done. Grab a drink of water and then we're doing our single leg squats. Woo! Guys, we're almost done, you're doing really well. So these ones, remember, one foot forward, just the heel on the ground, pushing up off the other foot. Going in, three, two, one, let's do it. Coming up, and back down. Up, back down. Making it harder by taking that foot off the ground altogether. If anyone wants a bonus difficulty, do it without the chair. That's gonna be really fun. Coming down, back up. Down, back up. All right, 10 seconds to go on these. Keep it up. Whew. Down, up, down, up. Five seconds on this side. And have a rest there, lovely. Switching legs. I just had my right leg back, so I'm going the right leg forward this time. We're almost at the end, guys. We're doing a really, really good job. This is exercise seven out of 10. Yes. Those Easter eggs don't stand a chance against you, so keep it up. All right, three, two, one, let's do it. Oh, yes. Home stretch, everyone, home stretch. Coming up, coming back down. Coming up, coming back down. Make it harder by moving that foot further forward. Make it easier having that foot further back. Making sure you finish nice and tall. And up. 10 seconds to go on this one. There we are. Almost at the end, guys. Five seconds left on this leg. Three, two, one. Done there, very nice, all right. Next one, we're doing our shoulder taps. You can do them on the floor in push-up position, or you could do it on the back of a chair like this, tapping your shoulders like this. 
All right, so we've got 10 seconds before you even have to start doing it. How good is that? Woo! And after this, only two more exercises. All right, ready to go. Three, two, one, oh, let's do it. Coming up, tapping the shoulders, both sides. And making it harder, down here. Just like that, very good. And do it on the floor to make it even harder than that. Almost there guys, 10 seconds to go on these ones. And you'll never have to tap another shoulder again. Three, two, one, done there. All right guys, the last exercise we've got to do on both sides, we've got to do our reaching down to your toe and back up. Reaching down to your toe and back up. And we're not even going to start for another 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, three, two, or one. Let's do it. Reaching down, coming back up. Reaching down, coming back up. Remember, make it easier by having that foot on the ground and just reaching for your toe and coming back up. This front leg should be pretty straight the whole time. A little bit of bend in the knee. But other than that, we're pushing our hips right back and coming up. 10 seconds to go on this leg. Doing very well. Last couple, here we go. Three, two, one. Have a rest there. Grab a drink of water. Guys, only one station to go before you can go back to eating chocolate. Apologies, Lucy, for telling people they can eat chocolate. All right, guys, 10 seconds to go. And we're on the last round of the day. So switching legs for this one, doing it with the other foot. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Tapping, whoa, what have I done? Tapping down and back up. Tapping down, back up. That's it, guys. Doing well. All that bamboo down there looks tasty. Any food looks tasty at the moment. Doing well, guys. We're almost there. 15 seconds left. Go right through to the end. 10 seconds to go. All the way down. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Done there. Well done, everyone. Really well done. Grab a drink of water. And then we're going to use the next three minutes to have a nice stretch and a cool down. Very important to get your heart rate back down before you go and lie back on the couch again, like Yaso does to you, alright? Alright, so, nice wide stance here everyone. And we're just going to lean to one side. We're going to hold this here. Making sure we take nice deep breaths with all of these. <sighs> Move to the other side. Now that was about 22 minutes worth of work. Actually, it was 20 minutes worth of work plus a uh, warm up. If you want it to be harder, replay the video and do it all again. If you want it to be easier, maybe just do one round of it. That's totally fine as well. So you've got some options there. If you want to make it even harder, add some weights to the ones where you can, such as the lunges and the squats and uh, uh, other ones, the push-ups, you can do them on the ground, make them harder. There are some options there, all right? Very nice. All right. Everyone, one hand on your hip. We're going to be reaching over the top with the other one, coming all the way down, and pass your toes. All the way over, and file your nails, nails along the ground. That's it. Last one this side. And very nice. Switching over to the other side, coming over, all the way along the ground, all the way over, and along the ground. Last one. Very nice. All right, let's roll the shoulders all the way up to ears, all the way back and down. Heart rate should be coming back down again now. Remember to take nice deep breaths. <sighs> Recommend everyone has a lot of water after this. Maybe some food, maybe some chocolate. 
to you, not my recommendations, but it's totally up to you. All right, last one. Ear coming to your shoulder, both sides. Oh, it's felt a nice crack in there. That feels good. Good. All right. Chin to your chest, look at the sky. Very nice. Rocking over your shoulder, both sides. And now a gentle roll all the way around. It sounds like bubble wrap in there. That's totally fine. So does mine. Clicks and crackles is totally okay in your neck. Very nice. All right, now with me to finish, three deep breaths all the way in and all the way out. And in and out. Last one. And out. Thank you everyone for joining me on my Easter weekend exercise session. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and you got something out of it. Now remember, coming Tuesday, uh, we'll have all of our normal videos going up in our uh, Prime Fit group on Facebook again. Now if you want the link to that, it'll just be down in the description of this video. On Tuesday morning, we'll have Mindfulness and Meditation with Bree. Wednesday, we'll have a Dietitian Seminar from Lucy. Thursday, we'll have Pilates from Claire. And every day at 11.30, we'll have Exercise with Jess. And 4.30 in the afternoon for a bit of a harder session with Tara. So guys, have a lovely Easter weekend and we'll see you there.